Hey guys, how are you all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel, and happy Valentine's Day. Um, so, I was thinking, you know, what is the perfect way to go spend my Valentine's Day? And I thought, well, go see Sonic the Hedgehog. I took my single ass all the way to the theater and saw Sonic the Hedgehog. And before we get into that, I do want to tell you guys that, um, uh, in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I don't have any candy, I can't shove the candy through a screen, but, um, with regarding to YouTube, uh, I just want to tell you that, this, without being creepy and saying I love you guys, um, I do want to tell you guys that uh, I will never make fun of you uh, for an opinion. Just, unless you're actually an idiot. But for the most part, if you guys have a real opinion, I will not do anything to that. So all of your opinions are safeguarded here. I've been running into a few problems on different channels. I'm not going to name any names, but I said something and another person flipped out. And it was just, you know, stupid bully banter crap. Uh, but I just want to tell you guys that if you have a different opinion, opinion than me, I will not stoop to a level below of that person and do anything. So I just wanted to tell you guys that for Valentine's Day, uh, you know, everything you say, if, except if it actually is like hate speech or something, um, it is actually, you know, acceptable for me in the comments. So, you know, you don't have to like The Last Jedi. It's fine. You don't have to like Sonic. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to say you're an idiot or anything. So anyway, that's my Valentine's message to you guys. Uh, you guys are uh, all my friends here. So, um, speaking of uh, Valentine's Day, what did I do? Well, like I said, I saw Sonic the Hedgehog. And... There's a lot of controversy going around with this movie, right? Because when the first trailer came out, I, I, I saw it, and uh, we, well, we all saw it, right? There's a lot of things that someone goes, hey, did, you know, oh, I was there for that, or, you know, I was in the bathroom when that happened, or, oh, I was, you know, taking a test when that happened. I was in uh, my family room when it happened. And what do I mean when it happened? Well, when I saw the first Sonic the Hedgehog movie trailer. And, uh, well, let's just... Let me say something first of all. That original Sonic the Hedgehog, the whole internet went stir-crazy over. I kind of did too. I didn't go, however, I handled it in the correct way. I did not send death threats to um, Sega and Paramount. I did not tell them, your work is stupid. Uh, go kill yourself like all these other rejects of the world did on the internet. Um, I handled it in the mature way by not telling them, they suck. I just said, well, that looks like shit. And I said, okay. Time to move on with my day, you know? And, uh, just, Paramount, Sega, I know you will never watch this, but if the people that made the Sonic movie did watch it, I just want to say, you guys did a good job with this movie, and, uh, you know, you, you don't deserve the hate, even if you have a really crappy-looking Sonic with beady eyes and weird-looking human teeth. Uh, you know, you guys did not deserve all the, all the crap you guys have been getting. Um, but still, the second trailer came out. And that was a much better trailer. The humor was on point. Sonic was completely redesigned. He looked really freaking good. Uh, you know, it was like night and day. You know, we go from like rat thing of the night to like, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog that looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. And, uh, you know, it honestly was a great trailer. And I was like, okay, uh, the humor's better. You know, everything everything looks fine. And uh, let me just tell you that first out of the gate, right out of seeing Sonic the Hedgehog, I had a freaking blast. It was so much fun. Quick disclaimer, I am a big Sonic the Hedgehog fan. I don't know everything. I'm not in the deviant art. I don't do that. I just, you know, I play the games. I have Sonic Generations. I have, uh, I don't have Sonic Mania. Should I get Sonic Mania? I don't know. I don't know if I should get that on Xbox. Um, tell me in the comments if you have Sonic Mania. Is it any good? But, um, yeah, you know, like I said, I'm not the biggest Sonic fan in the universe. I have LEGO Dimensions, and that has a Sonic level and Sonic open world. Uh, just, you know, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not like, oh my god, Sonic! You know, but I'm not like peanut butter gamer, where I'm like, I hate Sonic, you know, that kind of thing. And no hate to him, it's just, that's his opinion. Um, you know, I don't love it, and I don't not, you know what I mean? It's, it's a good franchise. Um, so I walked into this movie, like, okay, the first trailer was crap, second one's better, let's see how this goes. And, uh, there will be a little bit of spoiler talk in the end of this video, but I'll tell you that, right now this is no spoilers. Um, it's a great movie, it really is. If you're a fan of Sonic the Hedgehog from, like, the 90s, or just, you know, recently with Mania, or Generations, or, you know, whatever, this is a great film. If you, like I said, if you're, if you're a Sonic fan, you're going to love it. If you're not a Sonic fan, you're still going to love it. Uh, you know, it, you, may, you might not want to go home and, you know, binge play all the games, but it still is a good uh, family-friendly film. Now, uh, a lot of people will say, oh, the Pokemon movie, Detective Pikachu, that was really good. And yeah, it's one of the best, video it's probably my favorite video game movie of all time. Um, and yes, I did love Assassin's Creed with Michael Fassbender. But, um, going into that... Uh, a lot of people are, oh, Pokemon, uh, Pokemon, you know, it's it's a kid thing. It's going to be really kiddie. Detective Pikachu is not a kid's film, trust me. It is for all ages. And uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, I go, okay, is this movie for all ages or is it just for little children? Because the Sonic games are for everyone. You can play it no matter what age group you are. This movie is for all ages, trust me. As I always 
tend to do this now. This is it for kids only or is it for everyone? This movie's for everyone. Uh, I was in a theater with two kids and one adult, and the kids didn't know what the hell they were or where the heck they were. Uh, it was literally just the adult, the dad, and me laughing my butt off the whole movie. It was really a good movie. There are a few hiccups, but it is for every age group, so if you're still with that weird stigma, that animation or video game characters or whatever, or Lego, whatever, it's only for kids, that's not correct. Stop thinking like that. Go see this movie. It is not just for kids, and it's great. However, um, let me get into the, the, the positives first. I would have to say that the animation, or the CGI, rather. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog looks great. It doesn't look as photorealistic as the Pokemon and Detective Pikachu, Maybe that's because they were had a you know such a tight budget crunch since we were basically throwing you know knives and pitchforks at them to change it. Um, but it does look good. Trust me, that is not a negative at all. Sonic, the design looks better. Uh, sometimes it can be a little blurry and a little weird, but overall they nailed the character. Uh, they did a great job with that. The CGI in general, I'll get back to that in a minute. But uh, the story. If you guys know about Sonic the Hedgehog, you will know that the basic thing about what Sonic the Hedgehog is is he's a blue hedgehog. He goes real fast, he picks up rings for health, and he stops Dr. Robotnik slash Dr. Eggman, a uh, big chubby dude in a thing, in a floating Marvel looking thing, um, from stealing little furry animals. And that, that's the plot. Whoop the frickin' do. However, the plot has recently gotten a lot more mature over the years. Oh, there's Chaos Emeralds, and there's the Sonic 06, and Sonic Generations, and you know, all this stuff. Lego Dimensions, there's so many great games now of Sonic and more uh, you know, involved storylines. Uh, this game, or excuse me, this movie has a great storyline compared to just, oh, you know, he collects rings and he saves animals and he beats up a, a, you know, a guy with a mustache. It's not just that. If you were thinking it's going to be live action Tom and Jerry with a rodent and a dude, that is not what it is, trust me. It's a great plot. I'm not going to go into heavy spoilers, but it really is an origin story about Sonic the Hedgehog uh, and, of course, Dr. Robotnik slash Dr. Eggman, what happens with them, their rivalry, all that. Um, they do change a little bit of the lore as far as I'm aware for the Sonic movie. Uh, the rings, if you've seen it in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler. The rings in the game heal you. You know, you jump on a spike or something, you, you freaking fly all over the place, you gotta catch them like studs in a Lego game, kinda. Um, this movie, the, I don't know why, but the rings are literally the god dang things from Doctor Strange. If you've seen the MCU film Doctor Strange, uh, you know, he goes, you know, he does this weird thing with his hands, and these portals open, right? And the portal opens to, I don't know. <clears throat> Chicken land, something weird, I don't know. Bricksburg. <coughs> oh boy, excuse me. I'm just trying not to laugh. I have a thing. It's just so bad. Um, so w with regards to, I'm trying, I can't even, I can't even do this. This is just weird. It's literally the things from Doctor Strange. I'm coughing because I just can't handle how stupid that is. It's literally just a freaking, he goes like this, and a portal opens, like Doctor Strange, actually, you know, he throws a ring. But it literally, okay, you think of, like I said, Bricksburg from the Lego movie, or, you know, Anywhere it goes right in there, and they do change the lore, um, and it's not bad, uh, but it's different, and I think that's gonna be bad for a lot of people. But if you look at the Ninjago TV show really fast, the Ninjago TV show is very serious, and uh, you know all that. And then you have the Lego Ninjago movie, which is a great film, by the way, in my opinion. Um, it's a great comedy for all ages, but it's funny. You know, the Ninjago TV show has slight moments of, you know, levity, like the MCU or whatever, but it's not like an actual comedy. The Lego Ninjago movie is an actual comedy, and a lot of people still don't know or still don't like that. This Sonic movie is a little bit different than the movie, or than the video games, you know, because the rings are like teleportation things. And, uh, you know, there's a weird, I'm not even telling you, there's a weird, like, origin story and where Sonic comes from, and it's a little Easter egg and, you know, some weird bird thing. It's just, you, you need to see it. Uh, it's kind of acid trippy. Um, it gets a little bit lore heavy at times when it really shouldn't. It just, okay, here's a blue hedgehog. It goes really fast. To heck with it. That's your movie. But whatever. Uh, you know, a lot of people need everything answered. You know, I'm looking at you Star Wars fans. Still, um, you know, it is what it is. But overall, the plot is good. It's more dense and more mature and just more uh, grounded than, you know, just save animals and beat up a guy in a chair. You know, that's basically it. Um, but other than that, really great movie. Um, like I said, CGI, the, the writing is great. The acting is great for the most part. I think the Tom, the cop, Tom's girlfriend, I can't remember her name, she's okay. And there's a few scenes where she's just kind of... That didn't work. That humor didn't land. You know what I mean? That's just me. Um, the editing is probably the worst part of this movie. It's not bad, but... When they show the Sonic the Hedgehog logo at the beginning and the end and all that, you know, with, like every movie, uh, it feels kind of forced. 
Um, and this is just me really nitpicking. There's really not much to hate with this film. Uh, you know, there's a few scenes where, uh, going back to the CGI, where uh, Tom, and you've seen the clip on YouTube probably, so it really isn't a spoiler. Tom and her, his, his uh, girlfriend fall off a building and they're flipping around, you know, they're, they're you know, they're falling. And uh, you need to handle falling in a film a good way. Because if you F it up, you can really F it up. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 did a good job of it, and um, some other movies, whatever, but uh, this one didn't do a good job of it. Uh, it really looks like they're just on a wire going like this. I mean, that that's not convincing, right? I mean, if I do this, does it look like I'm falling? If you put some, you know, Dan, Dan uses his freaking CGI, no. It just looks retarded, you know what I mean? So, it, it, the CGI can be a little bit strange at times, uh, but that's really it for the CGI, you know? I mean, you can tell it's not real, but it's a Sonic movie. It's not supposed to be, you know, Zero Dark Thirty Part 2, you know what I mean? Um, but it's not amazing, but it's not bad. And again, the best part about the CGI is Sonic himself. Uh, the voice acting for Sonic the Hedgehog is phenomenal. Uh, he's not, hey, Dr. Eggman, yeah, I'm gonna go fast. You know, he's not that guy. He's more or less the, uh, you know, well, he's uh, the new guy, I guess. And he does a good job. He's a fan of Sonic. He, he's a, he is Sonic to me. I think he, he's not the best, but he, he is a good Sonic. Um, so yeah, I mean, really, there's not much to hate. The CGI is pretty good for the most part. The voice acting is great. The story is actually pretty good. Uh, the, the acting Jim Carrey, you know, everyone said, oh, Jim Carrey's gonna steal the show as Robotnik. Uh, he kind of does. I don't really love his style of comedy, but 98% of the time his jokes landed, and, uh, he was a great character. And, uh, spoiler-ish, uh, uh, well, okay, I'm not gonna tell you spoiler. I'll, I'll, I'll save you a Valentine's gift. I will not spoil the movie. Um, right now. However, so I'm going to, with all this going into mind, again, the few issues would be a little bit of the editing. Uh, some scenes last a little bit too long. Some scenes go a little bit too short. Uh, and then, of course, a little bit of CGI, and uh, that's really it. I'm going to give Sonic the Hedgehog an A. I mean, really, those two little things are just really, you know, really small, minor things. Uh, I had a great time with it. Again, I'm a huge Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Uh, I don't know everything, but if you're not a Sonic fan, uh, it's definitely not for kids only. It's really fun for adults. It's fun for Sonic fans, it's fun for non-Sonic fans, it's a great time. Uh, please go see it, and uh, don't tell me what, okay, tell me what you thought about it, but don't tell me any spoilers. However, right now, quickly, at the end of this video, we're going to talk about spoilers. So, I gave it an A, if you haven't seen the movie, go leave, watch it, and watch the rest of this video when you come home. Spoilers, last warning, here we go. Alright, so Tails is in the end of the film, which is pretty effing cool, which is right at the back, Tails is there. Some a-hole probably spoiled it on YouTube like they always do, you know, whatever. Um, it's gonna happen. But, uh, Tails, the voice actor, or actress, I still don't know if Tails is a boy or a girl. I think he's a dude. Um, does a great job. It sounds just like the Tails from the game, really. And it might, it might be the same person, I don't know. I couldn't really quite see it on the, on the credits, even though I have glasses. Um, it was really cool to, to, you know, see Tails. So hopefully this movie, I, it's not doing well with critics. I don't give a crap about critics, I never have. It's what I say goes. I can listen to other people, but I'm not gonna... You know, be like, oh, he, 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 he hated it, so I'm going to hate it too, you know. I'm not a robot. I like to, I'm a human, you know. I like to think for myself. Um, but still, uh, like I said, Tails is a really cool part in there, going with the, the critic thing, uh, with the money. I don't know how much money this is making. I know Birds of Prey is tanking right now. I don't know why. Um, but this movie I have not checked yet. I don't know how much it is grossing at the box. I know, today is the legal first day type thing, so I don't really know how is doing, but um, hopefully it does well, because again, Tails is there, and he's going to see Sonic. And of course, we also see Dr. Robotnik, as you guys have seen, he gets pushed into that mushroom land or whatever, and he gets the really big mustache, and he's bald, and he starts to sound like Robotnik a little bit, he's, he's losing his mind. It's great stuff, and he looks like Robotnik slash Eggman, he really does, his freaking performance is off the charts right there, and it's right at the end, it's like, man, I wish we could have seen him, you know, a little bit more... Uh, this way, and, uh, this way, and, and, and no hair this way, like me, um, toward the end, you know, it would have been great, um, but again, this is, like, their origin story, so hopefully for Sonic the Hedgehog 2, I really hope that actually happens, and quite soon, because I, I can't wait to see what Tails happens, and of course, uh, uh, you know, Eggman Robotnik, and of course, the Akindas, I believe that was Knuckles shooting at that bird thing in the beginning with the arrows, uh, it had red, uh, quills, I guess, so it was pretty cool, so anyway, that, that's the, basically the extent of the spoilers, um, but again, tell me what you thought about Sonic the Hedgehog. Again, no spoilers. If you want to see spoilers, they'll watch my video or other videos. And, you know, but don't spoil it for anyone in the comments. Uh, again, guys, thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. And, uh, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you in the next video.